Satellite imagery helps us to explore hard to reach places, including that of oceans, jungles and snowy regions. One place of interest is that of Antarctica. Scientists and researchers have made countless discoveries in this region, helping them to better understand its environment and the mysterious life forms that call this place home. Some might think that after centuries of technological advancements, we would have finally begun to understand the planet we live on and the impacts that we have on it. This couldn't be further from the case, and while at times it seems that this may be true, just when we think we know as much as we can, a discovery will turn our knowledge on its head and make us realise that despite the wealth of information out there, there is still so much that we don't yet know. Although in recent years various interesting discoveries have been made in Antarctica, which I'll touch on shortly, it's perhaps the more mysterious ones that grab people's attention. For years now people have claimed that Antarctica is home to many mysteries, including secret bases, mysterious archaeological discoveries and advanced crafts. As of right now governments and scientists have said there's no proof that mysterious crafts have been found here, and although that may be the case, it hasn't stopped people from finding strange things in the Antarctic ice, one of the most recent ones being that of a strange structure that allegedly appeared, with another object that's dividing people, with some saying that it's a secret base, while others have said it appears to be an unidentified flying object, and that you can see this casting a shadow. The first object is this one, and it was posted online not too long ago, and shows what looks like a boomerang shaped structure on top of the ice. Theories for what this is range from a secret base, to an archaeological artifact that's now visible due to melting ice. Some theorists believe that advanced ancient civilizations may have reached Antarctica in the past, and due to melting ice and glaciers there may be countless archaeological artifacts waiting to be found. They point to these strange looking structures as evidence of this theory, and even go on to say that some of these areas that show these mysterious artifacts sometimes get blacked out, proving that they don't want people knowing about these discoveries. The reason why some people don't think these are normal research bases is because they suddenly show up, and that before this there was no sign of them. As with most of these discoveries though, we have limited information and photographs to go by, so what these depict is up for debate. Another discovery that caused various ideas to be put forward is this one. Someone posted this video online showing what looks like either a small building or a flying craft, saying that they couldn't explain what it was, and wondered if anyone had seen anything similar. As mentioned earlier, theories for what this thing is range from a small research station to an unidentified flying object. One person commented on the video saying the following, Why would a tiny research base be in the middle of Antarctica like this? Could it be a weather station? While another person said the following, I know that some people are saying that it looks like a building, but to me both of the objects appear to be hovering, as you can see both of them casting a shadow on the ground. I'm not saying that these are unidentified flying objects, but it does look like they're flying. I've seen similar looking structures in Antarctica, and no one seems to know where these things come from. Same as the other structure, people can't agree on what this thing is, leaving some to believe that perhaps there are secret bases or objects in Antarctica that we're not being told about. 
scientists recently announced that they carried out tests on a subglacial lake and found them to be teeming with life. Antarctica is known for being a place where life does not flourish. Although creatures such as penguins, seals and krill do inhabit the icy continent, most of these species do not live there all year round, and migrate elsewhere to escape the brutal winter. When researchers visit, the conditions are so extreme that they must take intense precautions to prevent hypothermia. The last thing that any of these researchers expected to find was an area actually teeming with life, but that's exactly what they stumbled upon. Under an ice sheet around 3,500 feet deep lies a lake around 50 feet deep. Researchers interested in studying this lake used drills and hot water to break through the layer of ice, and they took 15 gallons of water samples, and a sediment core over 15 feet long from the dark waters below. What these samples revealed surprised the researchers. Study and analysis determined that the subglacial lake was teeming with bacterial life, and the samples contained an average of 10,000 bacterial cells per milliliter. Although this number may seem paltry in comparison to 1 million bacterial cells per milliliter in samples taken from the ocean, for a totally sunless underground lake the numbers are astonishing. The fact that there is such a relative abundance of organic matter means that the lake could very likely be supporting other more complex life forms, which the research expedition will likely begin to search for. A nearby subglacial lake also revealed high levels of bacteria during an expedition in 2013, which further validates these more recent findings, and leads researchers to theorise that these lakes were at one point connected to the larger oceans. This would have been thousands of years ago, and thus have remnants of carbon deposits from early photosynthesizing organisms that allow the modern day bacteria to survive. The discovery of such a surprising abundance of life forms is important to researchers. The first is that it gives hope and guidance to the search for extraterrestrial life forms, especially on Mars, which has evidence of dried up underground saltwater lakes, not unlike the ones uncovered in the Antarctic. The second benefit of this discovery for researchers is that it provides important information about the history of Antarctica and what the now hostile place might have looked like thousands of years ago. So what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.